guys. Almost left you in the trailer. Well, I tell you, these Unities, you know, yeah, they're brand new trailers, but they're, they're junk. Well, now that we're loaded, man, I really wish the morning would have started off like this, you know, nice, smooth, pulling into my reload. It didn't start off this way. me right here Earl. right here hey right here stay come here usually in circumstances like this in an extremely busy truck stop where I feel Opie's life may be in danger as well as my life may be in danger I will break out his leash I went to grab his leash out of my door and it's gone I must have left it at home I don't you guys already know I don't I don't like using leashes train a dog good enough you don't need that leash but if his life is in danger in the wise of um, trucks and whatnot I'd like to be able to grab him pull him out of the way if we're about to get ran over as you usually are in the middle of a busy truck stop but back here it's not that busy up there where we're parked on the front row where we never park it's chaos it's just flat-out chaos all right where were we um, we got loaded. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video and you made it all the way to the end, congratulations for one thing. We were backed into a quite, nice, quiet spot, secluded from everybody. It was the wrong place. Right address, right place in the wise of we'd been there before. The guy behind the counter tried telling me that uh, they sold that warehouse and about a year ago. No. I've been here within a year so I don't know when they sold it but that warehouse has a new ownership and we had to move locations in the process of moving locations Kurt had just woke up and if you watched yesterday's video to the end you know Kurt didn't go to bed the earliest like he should have I about went over some railroad tracks that would have really ruined my day almost almost I didn't get any of it on camera I wasn't gonna push play it was too embarrassing um, I thought the place that I was going to was up around the corner. I tried following someone's directions, which don't do. They give you directions. Don't even do it. Just, just look it up on your phone, satellite view it, zoom it in. Don't follow someone else's screwed up uh, directions. And I almost went over railroad tracks. And they were the ones that went up and then down. I would have been on TikTok with my truck all hung up on a railroad track. So there's a place to the right that says no truck turnarounds. And it is a, uh, they, they have truck trailers there and everything. They just don't like truckers coming in there to turn around. So I had to think, do I want to try getting over those tracks? Do I want to back up three blocks with traffic already backing up behind me because I stopped? Or do I want to pull in there and just make these people mad? I pulled in there and just made those people mad. Of course, when I pulled in there, it, made, it dawned on me, you can't turn around in here. It's a place to pull off the road. So then I had to back back out onto that busy road, holding up traffic. If there's any pictures, videos of TikTok out there, or Instagram or Facebook out there of me out there doing all this, I'm sorry guys, I embarrassed all of us. I really did. So it was a rough start to the morning. Very, very, 
very, sort of, not really, kind of, a rough start to the morning. We conquered. We came back here to the pilot in uh, Conover, North Carolina. That's where we're at. Came back here to the pilot, regrouped, went over, got loaded, tight entry, tight exit. I think I had the camera on when we were pulling in and out of there. And then uh, come back over here, went in, took a shower, got all cleaned up, spiffied up, feel like a new dime, new quarter, new penny, whichever way you want to put it. And now we're going to hit the road. We're loaded up with, I don't know, it just says General Freight. I don't know what's in the wagon. I know it's going to Lamar's, Iowa, so we know that route. We've ran that route a hundred million thousand times from here. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to run. Don't walk in that open. And then, whew, what was that? That was not pleasant. So we're going to run that route and head back. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to leave here. Won't be too much longer, and we're going to hit Black Mountain. We're going to climb up Black Mountain. Um, I usually hold it around 35 mile an hour. It's a six, six and a half percent grade. I think it's four or six miles, one of the two going up. It's not a hard pull, but you could go up it faster, but I don't work the truck. You're gonna probably see some guys pass me that work the truck a heck of a lot harder than I do, or they're empty. And then once we get through that, we're gonna hit the gorge. The gorge, you guys have seen going south. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you've seen it going north. But if you haven't been with me for a while, going north is uh, probably my favorite way because it just shows off the beauty more. And then we're going to head into the Armageddon. Um, I heard rumors that Kentucky and Tennessee got 10 inches of snow. I don't know if there's any truth to that whatsoever, but those are two states that you do not want to see snow in. Just for a simple fact, you guys don't see snow all the time. I'm not saying you're bad drivers. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying you guys don't see that much snow on a normal basis. Then we're pushed through. I don't know how far we're going to go tonight. I need to catch up on some sleep at some point, so I'm not tired. I'm wound up, as you guys can tell. Just spun up a little bit. Romero! I'm going to stop talking. Enjoy the show.
We are in Newport, Tennessee. Welcome to Tennessee. You'd never guess it was Tennessee because it is 19 degrees out. That's chilly. That's a little cool. I never thought I'd need 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 the big fuzzy hat and that those kind of temperatures. Earlier when I was talking to you guys, I kind of forgot that we have barely anything in the trailer. I think we have a grand total of 8,000 pounds in the trailer. So we buzzed right on up Black Mountain, no problem, without any hesitation. Except for the top, ran into a couple cars that held us up. Um, the gorge. Isn't it beautiful? This time of year. I know, I'm weird. Um, the Smokies, they actually... The Smokies look so much nicer to me without any leaves on the trees because they actually look like real mountains. I mean, the... Did you guys see the snow cap on the camera? It actually looked like a snow cap on a couple of those mountains. And I was thinking, holy smokes, the Smokies actually look like real mountains right now. I, I was deeply impressed. I was like, this is nice. But yeah, I love rolling through these kind of, through the Smokies and the Appalachians. I'm starting to shiver. Um, during this time of year, no leaves. I, nothing against trees. I like trees, you know, but I like mountains without trees. And anytime there's no leaves on trees, it's kind of making me feel a little bit like I'm out west, so just a little bit. I'm never going to get out west. They planned uh, Sarah and uh, the family, and then Sarah and the rest of the group that we ride with motorcycles on planned two trips uh, for next summer. Um, vacation, family vacation. It's going to be out east. You guys probably, probably already knew it was going to be to the ocean. Then we're going to turn around get together with our motorcycle buddies and go back. I don't think they understand the concept of every time we go east, it's like I'm working. I don't care, I'm getting whiny, I'm getting tired. And what did your mommy always do to you guys when you guys were little kids and you're whiny and tired? No, not the beaten part. I'm gonna go take a nap. Well, look at that, Opie. We've officially been in more snow in Tennessee than we have been back home in western Iowa. You fall down that hill. I'm not coming down there after you.
Where are you going? Boy, he's grumpy tonight. He really is. He's been giving me the evil eye all day. There was a bunch of dog food. Well, not all day, but where we took a nap at. There was a bunch of dog food somebody just threw out of their window or something all over the parking lot and I wouldn't let him have it. So ever since then, he's been giving me the evil eye. It was dog food on a parking lot. He did not need it. I don't know. Guys, yeah, I'm, I wasn't kidding. We have This is more snow right now that we are in. We're in uh, Tennessee. I think we're probably about 60 miles. Yeah, give or take 60 miles to be coming to Nashville, Tennessee. Long Highway, Interstate 40. And this is more snow than we've had back home in Western Iowa. I think Eastern Iowa or Southern Iowa has seen probably a couple storms, five, six inches at a time, but this is probably a solid four, solid five inches of snow, and it's more than what we've had back home. We had one snowstorm that was, I think it was about four inches, it was gone two days later. As for the temperature, temperature's holding out. What was it last time I talked to you guys? I think it was 18 degrees. It's holding out at, oh. I see why he's giving me the evil eye. I got you now, buddy. I got you. Squirrel. Yeah, I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, temperature. It was 18 degrees when I talked to you. It's down to 15, so we're not really losing much temperature. I know why you're giving me the evil eye now. I'm on to you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, listen here. I know you're not going to believe me, but they were closed. They run banker's hours around here. I'm sorry. <laughs> he is mad. Man, that is one mad looking dog. You can just see it on his face. You're so angry. Cheer up, man. And Dad, he's cold, man. How am I supposed to cheer up? Because I told you so. Leave me be. All right, fine. Chilly. It's never good when you see a police cruiser on a flatbed all banged up like that on the side of the interstate. 
That's what was with all the flashing lights if the camera didn't catch it. We're in Kentucky now, and we're down to eight degrees. The flaps have come down. I don't know what it is. We've had much, we've had colder than this back home this year. Didn't feel this cold. Either it's a mixture of maybe the humidity in there, or maybe it's a mixture of, uh, it was just 65 degrees on me yesterday. Who knows? Who knows? Well, Kentucky and uh, Tennessee, you guys did pretty good. I only seen two big trucks rolled over in the median, and then I seen seven cars in the ditch, but there was a lot of remnants of cars that went in the ditch and they'd probably have been pulled out already. Um, probably about 12 trucks gelled up. It's that time of year. Oh, he's playing. I'm not even gonna show him. He's an interesting pup. Opie, he's doing Opie. Um, yeah, it's that time of year, guys. If you're gonna run your APUs or your fancy S-bar heaters, perfectly fine. Go ahead and run them if you want to. Me, I leave the key on, the truck stays running. I want it to guarantee it stays, that fuel to stay warm. But if you're gonna do that stuff, make sure you start that truck, let it warm up for at least a couple hours. Get her up to operating temperature. I've been set for another hour once it hits that temperature. Get that fuel warmed up because most of the trucks you see gelled up, they're within a mile of a rest area or a truck stop on ramp, you know. So they get out on, they start them up, let them run 15 minutes, build air, then they hit the road. I seen on Facebook or something a guy was talking about starting an engine up and getting it out on the road as fast as possible, warms it up better and it's better for it been sitting there idling up to Tim. He sounded pretty knowledgeable. He sounded like a pretty good mechanic. I ain't gonna do it. That's what he wants to do though. Nothing real big happened today. We went through the beautiful gorge. Um, anything else? We took a nap. I think that about covers everything. You guys stay safe and as always, I'll see you next time.